हेलो दोस्तों वेलकम टू सिविल इंजीनियर एफ बी एच दोस्तों मैंने एक हफ्ते पहले से कुछ वीडियोस बनाई हैं जिनमें मैंने कुछ इंजीनियर्स के इंटरव्यूज किए हैं जो यहाँ पे रह रहे हैं यूएई में जॉब कर रहे हैं इनमें से कुछ इंजीनियर्स का इंटरव्यू मैंने किया जो इंडिया से थे एक का मैंने इंटरव्यू किया जो कि अफेरिका से थे अभी आज मैं आपको एक और इंजीनियर जो कि फ्रेश इंजीनियर है अभी ग्रेजुएट है टू ग्रेजुएट है उनसे मैं आपकी बात करा रहा हूँ और वो है फिलीपींस से एक्चुअली उनका नाम मिस्टर एरन है तो गाय मिस्टर एरन जो है ये फिलीपींस से है और ये यहाँ पे फ्रेश इंजीनियर है अभी तो इनके साथ मेरी बात होगी यहाँ के बारे में ये अपना एक्सपीरियंस शेयर करेंगे कैसे जॉब मिली कैसे सब कुछ हुआ इनके साथ मेरा इंटरव्यू इंग्लिश में होगा क्योंकि ये ओबियसली हिंदी या उर्दू नहीं जानते हैं सो आई एम गोइंग टू इंट्रोड्यूस मिस्टर एरन इन द वीडियो How are you, Mr. Adam? Thank you, Mr. Faisal. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, this is an interview for of you. It is. It will be helpful for the freshers who actually want to move to UAE or somewhere else in Gulf region. Mm -hmm. So there are lots of uh, people who want to come here. I am getting the messages, the mails from lots of people. So I thought this will be a good thing to do in order to help them out. come here and find out the job for themselves mm -hmm. so my first question to you is when did you pass your bachelor's degree when did you complete your uh, B bsc in civil engineering so i got my degree last year and i took over the year it was uh, the month of i think july so you I completed it in it in july 2020 july 2020 so after that did you work in your country for some time or not you directly Tried to pursue my professional engineering license in the Philippines back then. So the original date for the uh, for the examination there is like around November 2020. But due to the COVID situation in the Philippines, the government postponed that examination. So for six months, I was just trying to uh, review myself to prepare for the examination. For the examination. So after this, after that November thing. Um, I was in the middle of uh, thinking whether to work, start working in the Philippines, or to just wait for another six months to have my professional development system. So, like around uh, February, I think there was some news again that the government was postponing the uh, licensure examinations in the Philippines. So during that time, I decided to maybe visit uh, here in Dubai first because my family is here. Your family is already here. Yeah, yeah. I think your father is also. Has So I was thinking maybe I should visit in Dubai first, or then try to look for a job. If I got an opportunity here, then I'll go for it. So okay. So this is how you came from Philippines to here, and when you landed here, you got your job in some. How much time it took you to get your first job? Actually, it took me like around three months. Three months, and then you were searching for the job. I only applied for the online, like online portals, yeah, like LinkedIn and all of them. But most of them were not accepted because they were preferring <laughs> the ones who had the experience. Mm -hmm. So after three months, you got this. You go mm -hmm. went for the interview and you got selected for the. Yes. Ah, uh, the thing is, they message the the recruiter itself yeah. through LinkedIn. You I message him. Yeah, yeah, I didn't apply through the portal. I know there was like some filtering system in that area, so I tried to message him, message him directly. So maybe yeah, yeah, yeah. This is this is a good point. So you are messaging the HR department directly uh, because you were not having the experience from your country. Yeah. So tell me about you must be knowing about the work, civil works in your country. So tell me how is it different working in UAE than working in Philippines? I think uh, the nature of the work is like, almost the same in the Philippines and here in UAE. But the thing is, uh, the difference is the culture here. You get, you get to, to meet a lot of people here. You get to work with different, different, different countries, and even outside your department, you get to know which uh, other type of nationalities outside your department. You have to understand what they really want in the construction. What are their standards? 
So the nature of the work is almost the same. Yes. Uh, so tell me about how uh, how good are the standards of uh, civil engineering here as compared to your country? Is it different? Is it good than there, or is it bad? Say something about it. I think um, here in Dubai we have to set the highest possible standards here because Dubai we have a lot of clients here. We don't know who's going to buy the property. Uh, yeah. We don't know who's going to be inside the property. So we have to set the highest possible standard here. That's great. So tell me about the salaries right now because you must be knowing about the salary in your country. So how good is the salary in UAE as compared to the salary in your country? I think as a fresher, it is quite enough for me. Yeah. It's just quite enough for me. But here if what you are getting right now, yeah, for what I'm getting here. I mean, for what I'm getting, I'm supposed to get in the Philippines. It's better than it's better here yeah. than in the Philippines. So, but I would suggest if uh, if you're going to accept this range of salary, I would suggest that you need to be with someone who can support you. Please support you about the salary range, you know, because you don't know when you are coming as a new fresh mm -hmm. person here. Yeah, you don't know what is the range here. Yeah, yeah. You know, so maybe you will think about your country and. Mm -hmm. Give the rank mm -hmm. in that scenario. Yeah. Try not to and, <laughs> yeah. At the end of the day, when you will be paying for paying your bills and everything, you will say that you are not saving anything. Yeah, yeah, that's a good point. So, how good are the weekends over here? So you have weekends. Are you going for some enjoyment, some fishing, or something like that? Or not? Because you know, lots of people come to this country for only this uh, this visit for, for the tourism so you know this is the best place for tourists in the world and you are living here working here so are you enjoying on weekends or you are just relaxing at your home yeah i mean here in the in dubai i think uh, we're just starting to get back to normal here yeah so you get to visit different kind of places in here so with, with uh, myself i'm doing fishing with my dad every Fridays. Yeah, that's every time uh, it doesn't happen. Yeah. Anything else you are doing, like going to some malls and everything yeah. like that? You are having dinner with your family or something like that. Yeah, that's it means you are enjoying your life here. Yeah. Okay. great. What is your message? This is the last question for you. What is your message for the new couples who want to come to UAE or in any other kind of country? What is your message for them? What to do? come here and how to come, like this, a simple message for them. Um, I think um, you need to be confident with yourself first. You need to be confident about your skill sets, about your personality. You have to understand what you can do for the company or the department you're going to apply for. The other thing is for the financial problem, uh, it is much better to come here that uh, you need someone who can support you, maybe for like three to five months because uh, yeah, because it's expensive here. If you are expensive to live If you are here and you are looking for a job, mm -hmm. in those months it's very difficult for you because mm -hmm. the city is very expensive. So you need someone to support you for these months. And yeah. yeah, that's great. So thank you, Mr. Aaron, for this interview. It means a lot for me and for the fans who are watching this channel. Thank you very much. So guys, ye jo video thi, ye aaj humne shoot ki Mr. Aaron ke saath jo ki hai Philippines se. Aage aise videos aate rahenge hamare channel pe. Channel ko subscribe kariye aur apne doston ke saath share kariye. Thank you. Thank you.